quite conveniently for Mr. Bankman Freed's counsel, uh, he is arrested right before he was due to provide hours worth of sworn testimony to Congress. Getting six hours of congressional grilling for a target of investigation or a defendant, um, that would be great for my case. The arrest of FTX founder Sam Bankman Freed raising more questions and not just about the company's collapse. Feds nabbed the alleged crypto con man less than 24 hours before he was set to testify on Capitol Hill, albeit remotely. Some are questioning that timing. New York Post columnist and Fox News contributor Miranda Devine joins us now. I mean, Miranda, I take myself back to the night before when this arrest took place and we we were all planning our shows for the next day. We knew we were going to have this hearing happening. We were finally going to see this alleged con man testify before the House committee. And then whammo, the arrest finally took place. And what went through your mind? I just immediately smelled a rat. Um, this is extremely suspicious timing. There's no reason for them to have nabbed him there and then. They could have waited a few hours. Um, There's the sort of the idea has been floated around that he was a flight risk. Uh, I mean, he's been there for weeks. He, if he was a flight risk, he would have left. His mother was in court in the Bahamas on Tuesday morning and she just laughed out loud at the idea that he, was, he would be a fugitive. So that doesn't pass the sniff test. They're obviously trying to protect someone. And, um, you know, there's a couple of uh, theories. One is that because Sam Bankman-Fried was the second largest donor after George Soros to the Democratic Party and uh, there's talk of as much as half a billion dollars that's already gone to sort of dark money packs for the Dems, um, as well as he'd promised another $1 billion for the 2024 election. Now, they don't want that money to really be scrutinised too closely. Perhaps that's the case and become a political issue in Congress. Um, and the other uh, maybe even more likely reason is that Gary Gensler, the head of the um, Securities Exchange Commission, had met, met twice with uh, Sam Bankman-Fried um, in the past year, and which is pretty unprecedented. And uh, he also obviously hadn't done uh, put, put the correct regulations around that industry and around um, what SBF was doing. It was like he was turning a blind eye. And then we also found out curiously from a Fox News exclusive that um, Gary Gensler had scrubbed uh, the details from his diary, uh, his public diary, of meetings with George Soros, Hillary Clinton, his former boss, because remember he used to be the finance chair of her campaign, and also Nancy Pelosi. So what is going on? It's something fishy. And it is just shameful that the DOJ would be involved in, uh, if, if they were, in covering up and making this yeah. timing so conducive to Sam Bankman-Fried's defence attorneys, not to the prosecutors. And as far as precedent, uh, in the hours that followed, we were able to catch up with Jonathan Turley. And very similarly, he said this. This is the first time in my memory that prosecutors, rather than a defense attorney, stop someone from making self-incriminating statements. Uh, this was a windfall opportunity for the prosecutors. He was willing to go forward with hours of rather hostile cross-examination on every detail in the case. Why wouldn't you want that to happen? That's all admissible. It seems so simple, and you asked the same question in your piece. If you're a prosecutor, wouldn't you be bitterly disappointed not to bring this guy in under oath, ask him anything you want, and you ultimately ask what difference would a few hours have made? Finally, follow the money, Miranda, which we always do. These are SBF's donations and the percent that went to liberal causes. I mean, the numbers are astronomical. And 99% of that, almost 39 million, went to liberal causes. As you say in your piece, as it turns out, Democrats and perhaps Republicans were spared the embarrassment of this being exposed during a House committee hearing. Well, I mean, I, I don't think it's true at all. There's no evidence for what uh, Sam Bankman-Fried says that he gave equally to Democrats and Republicans. That's laughable. But he certainly did give a few million to Republicans, and they, they shouldn't allow that to uh, prevent them from questioning uh, what went on with this these slush funds. I mean, it looked like 
that company FTX was really just a giant money laundering op operation to provide money from big corporates to the Democratic Party, and the Republicans should follow that. Miranda Devine on all of that for us. Miranda, thank you very much for joining us today. Appreciate it. Thanks, Sandra. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.